And also, why the f***ing hell are we responsible for supporting the BBC? Why? Hi, it's me again, and breaking news in a world of TV licensing, our overlords have spoken, and they've told us how they feel about the future funding of the BBC. There I was, stuck in traffic this morning, having a pleasant time drinking a cup of coffee and listening to LBC, when who comes on? My favourite politician of them all, Lucy Fraser. And then someone tagged me in a Sky News clip she was in. I thought we could look at it together, and also Rishi's said something about it. Let's, um, let's start this clip. I don't think we'll make it all the way through before I kick off. Just a warning. We, uh, as a government, have been really concerned about the cost of living for people across the country and taken a number of steps across the board to make sure that those costs are down. Um, and so the licence fee... Um... Yeah, I only got 17 seconds in. How can she say that with a straight face? The government care about you and the cost of living cry. They care. They care. They're on your side. They couldn't give two shits about us normal people. Anyway, that's not the point here. It's payable by people. It's uh, currently £159. And it is due to rise, although we've frozen it for two years, recognising the issue of the cost of living. Uh, it is due to rise, but we want to make sure that it, uh, it rises by an appropriate amount that people can afford. What did she just say? It rises, so it can rise by an appropriate amount that people can afford. Does that sound to you like they're looking at abolishing the television licence fee? No, is the answer. Anyway. It's due to go up by 9%, uh, almost £15 to £173.30 in April. Are you telling us, Minister, that won't happen? Well, I'm concerned that that's a very high level. It's a decision that I'm looking at at the moment and we'll be making an announcement on this uh, very shortly. But it's not going to go up that much? Well, I'm concerned about that level of rise, so it's something that we're looking at very carefully. Yeah, the Prime Minister certainly gave the impression that it's not going to go up that much. Well, we are, uh, we are concerned, A, to ensure that the licence fee is fair to people, particularly uh, in this cost of living crisis. And uh, also, we, we do need to support the BBC so that they can produce uh, good content. Whoa, 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 back. Whoa, back, as Del Boy used to say. What was that she just said there? Also, we, we do need to support the BBC so that they can produce uh, good content. We do need to support the BBC so that they can produce good content. Well, they're not producing any good content and they're getting quite a lot of support at the minute. And also, why the fucking hell are we responsible for supporting the BBC? Why? Am I personally responsible for supporting ITV or Sky Sports or Channel 4? No, they fend for themselves via subscription or advertising. Why are we responsible? Why is the government responsible for ensuring the BBC survives and can make quality content? Why? Why can't they just go commercial and stand on their own two feet? Why is it up to us to support them via a licence fee? It's a broadcaster. It's not a massive national institution anymore. It's just another broadcaster. They do not deserve the, the funding method that they have been provided all this time. It is time to go. She doesn't care about it going. Rishi doesn't care about it going. Why is she saying, I'm, I'm going to listen, that drove me back. I'm going to listen to that bit again. Also, we, we do need to support the BBC so that they can produce uh, good content. She did definitely say, we do need to support the BBC so they can... Why do we need to support the fucking BBC? It makes no sense. Ugh, I only got a minute 16 in. And it was already angry. And I've only watched this once today. I didn't want to study it. Anyway, let's carry on. But the, the media landscape is changing. 400,000 people did not renew their licence fees last year. 400,000 people did not renew their licence fee last year. Proud of you. Every single one of you. I'm proud of you. I said that the more people cancel, that's when change is going to happen. But it doesn't sound like it's going to change for the positive for us, does it? It sounds like the government have other plans for supporting their precious BBC. And that's why I'm also doing a broader review on uh, the licence fee in the round and how we should fund the BBC. 
So she's doing a broader review in the round about the future funding for the BBC. It is not going to be abolished why this woman has anything to do with it. It's just not. Do you think it's value for money? I think the BBC provides a fantastic service. It's, a, it's an amazing tool for soft power. It brings us and should bring us impartial news. She thinks the BBC is value for money and it provides a good service and soft power. Is that a government term for support of the government or spreading propaganda around the world? It sounds like a government term to me. Do you care about the BBC's soft power? Or do you care that they're spending some of your 159 quid a year on Gary Lineker's wages? Or for making absolute tat that no one wants? Or for sacking off the orchestras? Or paying for orchestras in the first place? Or what about the equality staff that they've got that I talked about the other day? Or was it 13 or 14 full-time members of staff working on diversity and equality? Do you care about that? Uh, but the media landscape is changing. Uh, the way we all consume media is changing. Nobody uh, only looks at, uh, at news or, or uh, their programmes on a TV anymore. And so this is something that we absolutely need to look at for a number of reasons. One is so it's fair to the licence fee payer. And secondly, so that the BBC can continue to uh, have a market and grow in this very, very dif different and changing world. Okay. Why do you think that she mentioned that people are watching stuff and consuming media in a different way now, not just on their television, using their phones? Does that sound like, because this is what it sounds like to me, that she's been having discussions that there's going to be a media licence now, not just a telly licence, because a telly licence implicates watching it on the telly. She wants you paying it if you watch it on your phone, which if you're watching broadcast TV, you shouldn't anyway. She wants a media license. It's been talked about. That is where she's going with this. Do you think it's value for money at the moment? I think the BBC provides a fantastic service. I've always said that I'm very proud to be a minister that uh, works very closely uh, with the BBC. But it does need to uh, remain value for money. OK. Um, so it's not going to go up 9%, but it might go up a bit. Let's wait and see, is what you're telling me there. So yeah, there you go. She, she loves the BBC. She's proud of working closely with the BBC. She's a fan. She's a big fan of the BBC. So uh, it might not be going up by much. It might only go up nine quid or something, they're possibly saying. And that's to help us with our cost of living crisis. They're only putting it up by nine quid. Well, thanks so much for that. Only nine quid, or we can all stretch to another nine quid. And yeah, I'm always saying that £159 isn't necessarily a lot of money to a lot of people. It is to some people. And £9 is a more insignificant sum to many people than £159 is. But the point remains, why are we having to directly fund a media network? Why? Why? If the government want it, let them pay. Oh, they'll put taxes up, I suppose. But you know, just show ads. Do something else. Why are we responsible for the survival of the BBC? If Channel 4 went down, yeah, I'd miss it. I wouldn't care less, though. If Channel 5 went down, yeah, I'd miss it. I wouldn't care less. They should have made better, better commercial decisions and then maybe they wouldn't have gone tits up. Why, why is the BBC held in a special little bubble where it must be protected. It's because it's a government mouthpiece spreading its propaganda throughout this country and throughout the world, and that's why the BBC protects it. I thought I'd get further through that, because it was only a two minute 30 clip. <laughs> I, thought, I genuinely thought I'd get further through that before kicking off. Well, what's Rishi been saying about it? Because there was, there was a story in the Express where Rishi was talking about it today as well, wasn't he? Where are we? Asked if the licence fee is sustainable and needs a major overhaul, Mr Sunak said, I think it is welcome that the BBC are looking at making savings and efficiencies in how they operate. It's really important that when things are difficult, everyone is doing what they can to ease the cost of living for families. So Rishi Sunak's all in favour of the BBC cuts. How many more petitions, how many more complaints have to befall the BBC for the cuts? 
They changed the news so they could make it commercial in other states. You get worse news in this country because of that so they can sell ads in other countries. Local radio is being absolutely butchered. Don't personally care about it myself, but many people out there do. And that was one of the reasons they paid their license fee was to support the BBC in local radio. That's being absolutely butchered. Newsnight being butchered again. What's next? What are they? Hopefully EastEnders is next, but that's not the point. He supports it. He supports BBC making a cut. So you're going to be paying 159 quid for, le well, more than that, for less and less and less value. And they don't care. They just don't see it because they live in that little bubble along with the BBC. They're supported by the BBC for one. They live in this little London bubble where money talks. And it's just, they don't see what it's like to be a normal human being. You sit on the outside. If you bought an alien in, or you bought, you know, and you said, look, we get all these TV channels for free, ITV, or they make all that content, and all they ask of you is you sit through the odd commercial. But in order to watch those, you have to pay this channel 159 quid. What else did he say? That's certainly what I have done over the last year. I've made a bunch of decisions that haven't been easy. I don't even want to talk about some of your decisions, Mr. Sunak. But that has helped to bring inflation down and ease the burden of cost of living. I don't care. The BBC, like any other organisation that serves the public, should be looking to do that and cut its cloth appropriately. So I think that is very welcome. Well, as I've said many times in the past, Mr. Sunak, if you happen to be watching this, the BBC currently has a deficit in its finances annually of around 300 million quid. And that is what it costs the BBC to keep the world service going. Your propaganda mouthpiece for the world. If you really cared about the BBC cutting its cloth and meeting its targets, why not fuck off the world service? I oh, know you can't, because that's how you spread the British government propaganda around the world. Why are we paying for this? The September Consumer Price Index CPI inflation figure was 6.7%, which would see the TV license fee increase by £10.65. The exact amount is still to be confirmed. So it's not a big amount of money. It's not going to make a lot of difference to a lot of people's lives. The £159 back in your pocket would make a lot of difference to a lot of people's lives. But it's not about the money. It's the principle of it. Why are the BBC in some stupid little bubble and must be protected at all costs? Why can they not stand on their own two feet and make their own money like every other media organisation has to do? You tell me. What do you think about this? I'm not going to watch that clip again. I'm, I, I, watch, I heard her on the radio this morning and she wound me up. And I saved the radio clip. I managed to get it and save it. And then I was going through some emails and that and someone tagged me in the Sky News clip. So I thought I'd use that because at least she could see her face. And to me, she looks like she's aged a bit in the last couple of years. I'm not having a personal dig, but she looks... You look at her when she first got the gig, she looks a lot older. I don't know why. Maybe the stress of trying to sort this BBC thing out or not. It certainly aged me. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. And uh, while you're down there, leaving your comment, hit all the buttons and all of that stuff. And if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.